You're welcome to Lizama's Stitches. My name is Amaka. If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a high-low dress for a 4 years old girl. So let's get started. I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic bodice pattern for a girl child. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can check it out later. So with this pattern, I'm going to cut the main fabric and the lining. There is also a lace fabric. I'm going to use this to cut it. Now these are the fabrics I'm going to use for this project. Now this is African print fabric. This is the lace fabric and this is my lining. The upper part of my dress is going to have this African print and this lace on top of it. While this is my lining. Now, I'm going to use this pattern to cut the lining and the main fabric. Now, these two are going to serve as the main fabric. So, I'm going to use this to cut this and this. So, I'll do it and show you. Now, I'm going to cut my... I'm going to start by cutting the lining. Take note, my, my fabric is on fold because I need to cut out two of this. So this is the back panel. Now this, I'm going to cut out one of this. Look at what I'm doing. I folded my fabric into two. So I'm going to cut it. So this, this is single. This is single. You see how this is? While this is two. Because there will be a zipper. Now this is... and this is the back panel the same way I've cut this I'm going to cut the African print fabric and the lace fabric the same way I have cut this now I've cut the main fabric now this is the lace fabric this is the African print and this is my lining so the same way I cut the lining I also cut this I also cut the main fabrics now the same thing I have here and the same thing I have here So, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to join this. Now, this is how I'm going to join this. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. Now, these two, these two are together. These two are together. So, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'll sew it this way. I'm going to sew it this way. I'm going to join it this way. Right side facing right side. This is the right side of my fabric. And this is the right side of my lining. But before I do that, I'm going to attach interfacing to my lining and my main fabric. Now, this is how I'm going to do it. This is lightweight interfacing. This is the, this is the medium weight interfacing. I'm going to iron this on the wrong side of the African print fabric. After ironing, I'll now attach the lace to the African print fabric, just like this. 
while this one on my lining i'm going to use this on my lining the same thing i'm going to do on the front panel i'm going to do on the back panel that is it with the interfacing now after that i'm going to join my line my lining and my main fabric right side facing right side this is how i'm going to do it now this is the right side of my fabric i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and i'm going to place this lining on it like this and i'll start by sewing the neck after sewing the neck i'm going to notch i'll push the seam allowance to the lining and top stitch after that I'll sew the armhole and I'll sew the sides. I'll not sew the shoulder yet. I'm going to leave the shoulder. The same thing I'm going to do here. After attaching my interfacing, I'm going to place my lining on my main fabric, right side facing right side. I'm going to sew the neck. After sewing the neck, I'll notch and top stitch. After that, I'm going to sew the armhole and i'll sew the side and the zipper allowance now i'm not going to sew the shoulder yet take notes i'm not going to sew the shoulder yet i'm going to do the same thing on this one so i'll do it and show you i want to cut my peplum so i'm I want, i'm going to show you how to fold it now this is my fabric i'm going to fold it into two i folded it into two and i'll fold it again into four So this is how to fold it now the lower part of my dress is going to have double layers one layer is going to be shorter than the other one now the shorter one is going to be like a high low peplum while the other one is also a high low flare but it's going to be longer than the first one and it's going to complete the length of the dress the full length of the dress is 30 inches the upper part is 10 inches I'm going to minus the upper part of the dress from the full length of the dress. Now, 30 minus 10 inches gives you 20 inches. So, the lower part of the dress is 20 inches. To find the waist radius, I'm going to divide the waist circumference by 6.28 because it's a full circle. Now, 6.28 is the formula for full circle. Now, the waist circumference is 20 inches plus 3 inches zipper allowance, which I'm going to use one and a half inches for one side and one and a half inches for the other side gives you three inches so 20 plus 3 gives you 23 inches plus two inches for pleats because i want to pleat the front of the peplum i want the i'm going i want to pleat the front a little so two inches for pleat 23 inches plus two inches for pleats gives you 25 inches my waist circumference is 25 inches. 25 inches divided by 6.28 gives you 3.9. Now I'm going to approximate it to 4. So my waist radius is 4 inches. My waist radius is 4 inches. Now the length of the length of the peplum is 10 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance, which I'm going to use half inch to join the upper part to the lower part and half inch to hem the lower part gives you 11 inches so the length the length of the of the circle i'm going to cut now is 11 inches i'm going to cut it now i'm going to start by marking the waist radius now the waist radius is four inches from here from this point from this point i'm going to mark four inches Hope you're seeing what I'm doing. So I've marked four inches. Now this is my waist radius. Now from here, from this line, I'm going to mark ten and a half inches. My peplum is ten inches plus half inch hemming allowance. While from this point, I'm going to add half inch, which is going to make everything 11 inches now 
I'm going to add half inch. I'm going to add half inch seam allowance here. Now this is my half inch seam allowance which I'm going to use to join the upper part to the lower part. By the time I finish sewing, I'm still going to fall on this line. I'm going to fall into this line. I'm still going to fall on this line. Now, when you check from here to here, you'll see that I have 11 inches. The actual length of my peplum is 10 inches. Then 1 inch seam allowance. I have half inch here and I have half inch here. So... The total length is 11 inches so I'm going to cut it now so this is my peplum now this is my peplum now take note this side is double while here is single so I'm going to notch I'm going to notch here I'm going to notch here I'm going to notch here I'll notch here I'm going to notch here I'll notch here that is a waist and I'll notch here now after that I'm going to open it up now this is the middle this is the center of my peplum so I'm going to open it up this way I'm going to open it this way now this is the center of my peplum now I'm going to use this part as my front panel while this part is going to be the back panel. Now I told you that my peplum is going to be a high-low peplum. So from this point, I'm going to I'm going to cut off four inches from here. I'm going to cut off four inches from here. So, I'm going to connect this point to this point. This is the middle. This is the center of my peplum. So, I'm going to connect this point to this point. Now, this is how I'll do it. I've connected it. So, this is my front panel and this is the back. So I'm going to cut it. So now I've cut the front panel. I'm going to slit the back. This is my zipper allowance. I'm going to cut it open. This is the back panel. So this is it. This is my high low peplum. Now this is what I have. This is my high low peplum. Let me join. Let me pin the back. Let me pin the zipper so that I can show you what it looks like after cutting. Now this is it. This is what I have. This is my high low peplum. So I'm going to cut my African print fabric and the lace fabric just the same way I have cut the lining. I'll do it and show you. The second layer of the lower part of my dress is going to be a half circle. To get the waist radius, I'm going to divide my waist circumference by 3.14. Because it's a half circle, it's going to be divided by 3.14. The formula for half circle is 3.14. Now, 
the waist circumference I'm working with is 20 inches. 20 plus 3 inches zipper allowance, which I'm going to use one and a half for one part and one and a half for the other part, which, which gives you 3 inches. So 20 plus 3 inches gives you 23 inches. Plus 5 inches for pleats gives you 28 inches. Now, the waist circumference I'm working with is 28 inches. Now I'm going to divide 28 inches by 3.14. 28 divided by 3.14 gives you 8.9. So I'm going to approximate it to 9 inches. So the my waist radius is 9 inches. Now the, the length of the flare is 20 inches. 20 plus 1 inch seam allowance gives you 21 inches. That is 1 inch. I'm going to use half inch, one inch seam allowance, I'm going to use half inch to join this part to the upper part and half inch to hem the lower part. That gives you 21 inches. This fabric is folded into two. I'm going to fold it again into four. Now this part of this dress, now let me show you how I folded this thing in case you didn't understand how I folded it because of the because of the size of the fab now this is how i folded it now this fabric is now this is my let's assume this is my fabric i folded it into two and i folded it again into four i folded it again into four i'm going to cut from here from this part i'm going to take my measurement from this part which is this which is here now i'm going to mark nine inches so this is the waist radius this is the waist radius from here from here i'm going to mark the length now the length is 20 inches the length is 20 inches so i'm going to mark 20 and half inches i'm going to mark 20 and half inches here and i'll come back here and mark half inch half inch seam allowance here so i'm going to mark 20 and half inches here So, I'm going to mark half inch here. I've marked 20 and half here. So, I'm going to mark the remaining half inch here. Which will give us one inch seam allowance. So, this is my seam allowance. By the time I finish sewing, I'm still going to fall back on this line. Now, I already have, so, what I have here is 21 inches. You see, I have 21 inches here. After marking, I still have 21 inches. Now, the actual length of my flare is 20 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance. That gives you 21 inches. So, I'm going to cut it. So I've cut it. Now I'm going to notch here. I'm going to notch here and I'll notch here. I'll notch here.
and I'll not share. I'm going to open my I'm going to open it up. Now this is the center. This is the center of my flare. This is the center of my flare. Take note. Now this is what I'm going to do. This part is already closed. This part is already closed because this is, a, this is half circle. It's not like the other one. This part is closed while this part has opening already. So I'm going to use this as my back panel while this is going to be the front panel. So this is going to be my zipper allowance. I'm going to cut from here and connect it to this point. From here, I'm going to come up by six inches and I'll mark. So I'll connect this point to this point. This is how I'll do it. I'm going to cut it. So this is the front, this is the front, and this is the back. This is my zipper allowance. You know, there's something about this tutorial. I've taught you how to cut high-low with full circle and high-low with half circle. So I've taught you two different ways of cutting your half-low flare. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. What are you waiting for? Please subscribe. Subscribe to support me. Encourage me. <laughs> Encourage me. I'm going to cut the lining for this. I'm going to cut the lining for this. But now the lining, the cutting of this lining is not going to be a high low. It's not, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to cut a normal half circle. I'm going to cut a normal half circle. So I'm going to do it and show you. Another thing I'm going to teach you, I'm going to show you how to do is how to attach hard net to your lining. I've used this to cut out this. So this is what I did. I used the lining, I used the lining to cut out this, the African print and the lace fabric the same way. Now, another thing I did is I ironed interfacing on my lining and on the main fabric. I'm going to join this, these three together. This is my African print fabric. And this is the lace fabric. I'm going to place the lace fabric on top of the African on top of the African print fabric, just like this. And I'll place the lining on top, right side facing right side. Now this is the right side of my fabric, of my lining, and this is the right side of my fabric. And I'll take it to my sewing machine, and I'll sew it. I'm going to sew it round. I'm going to sew it. I'll sew. After sewing, I'll notch. After notching, I'll push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. After that, I'll now sew this part. I'll sew this part and sew here. This is the second layer of the lower part of my dress. I've now for this, I've cut out. The lining for this now this is the lining this is a lining the lining is a normal flare it's not high low so this is the lining of this so I'm going to attach hard net 
to the lining now this is how i'm going to fix the hard net from here i'm going to come down by two inches from this point i'm going to come down by two inches and i'm also going to come in by two inches from here i'm not going to start from the edge i'm going to start two inches away from this point i'm going to place my hard net on my lining just like this just like box plates is this box plate or kissing plates So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pleat it round on the lining. This is the upper part of my This is the upper part of my dress. This is the front panel and this is the back panel. Now this is what I did. After sewing the neckline, after sewing the neck, I notched and pushed the seam allowance on the lining and top stitched. And I sewed here, and I had to sew here and here and the side. I did the same thing on the back panel. After sewing the neckline, I notched and top stitched. I had to sew the armhole and the sides. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this. Take note, I didn't sew the shoulder. The shoulder is still open. I didn't sew the shoulder. Okay. So this is how I'm going to join it. After turning. Now this is the... what I'm going to do I'm going to fix this shoulder I'm going to put it inside the inside here just like this I'm going to put it here and I'm going to pull it out from here I'll pull it out from here And I'll sew it. Let me illustrate with pin. So I'll take it to my sewing machine and I'll sew it. Now after sewing, after sewing, I'm going to turn it. Now when I turn it, this is, this is what I'll have. You see that you're not seeing the seam allowance from here and you're not seeing it from here. So this is what I'll have after sewing. So the same way I'm also going to do this. I'm going to do I'm going to turn this. I'm going to do the same I'm going I'm also going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to turn it and do the same thing. After that, I'm going to turn it this way and sew here. And I'll also sew this one. Now I've joined, I've joined the upper part together. Now this is it. This is the upper part. This is what it looks like. Now this is the shoulder. This is what it looks like. This is inside and this is the right side and this is the wrong side. Okay. Now let me show you the next thing I'm going to do. So this is what I'm going to do. Now this is the peplum and this is the second layer of the lower parts of the dress I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to join these two together now this is my this is my this is my lining I've attached the hard neck to the lining now this is what it looks like you see are you seeing what it looks like so after sewing I'm going to show you how to attach the lining to the dress I've joined the two together. This is it. This is it. So, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. You see how this is? I'm going to turn it 
this way and i'll sew i'll sew right side facing right side i'm going to hold it and sew and i'll sew it i'll hold it and i'll sew it this way sew it now this is the dress i've attached the peplum and this now you see what it looks like this dress is beautiful this dress is so beautiful so i'm going to show you how to attach the lining so now this is the lining you see how the dress is you see how now this is the lining this lining is going to cover the seam i'm going to fix this lining in such a way that you will not you won't see the seam anymore it's going to hide the seam now this is how i'll do it you see now this is how i'll do it you see what i'm doing i'm going to turn this lining this way this is how i'll sew this lining this way so i'll take it to my sewing machine and i'll sew it now this is the right side i'm sewing it on i'm sewing it on this seam i am sewing it on this seam so i'm going to sew it i'm going to attach it to this seam and i'll sew it on this seam are you seeing what i'm doing now this is my lining this is the wrong side of my lining and this is the right side of my lining so the right side is facing this side the right side of the upper part so i'm going to attach it to this seam this seam allowance i have here i'm going to attach it to this seam and i will sew it on this seam i'm going to sew it on this seam after sewing it on this seam allowance I'm going to flip it so when I flip it I'm going to flip it when I flip it you will no longer see the seam allowance I'm going to do it and show you I just hope you understood what I did so let me do it and show you I've attached to the lining you see you see what it looks like the lining has hidden the seam allowance you're not you're no longer seeing the seam allowance when you turn it this way now look at the seam allowance but when you flip it back you see that the lining has hidden the seam allowance so that is it with this now um i'm going to take this to my sewing machine now i'm going to attach the zipper the next thing i'm going to do is to attach the zipper and i'll fix the bow if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to support me subscription is free you're not paying for it 